All right, guys, well, I'm not sitting in a hammock, but I'm gonna show you today how to do a diamond knot with paracord. So this one's kind of loosely done. Um, I'm gonna untie it, because this is the rope we're gonna use. I'm gonna untie it, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So stay tuned through the intro. <music> Welcome back. So, like I said, we're gonna show, we'll show you how to do the diamond knot with paracord. In the past, we have done cobra weave. This is on our Gerber dime. And actually, I didn't make this one, but I, I have made a cobra weave before. I didn't make that one. And we've made a snake knot. You did all that on my Travax wallet, the snake knot. So, I've got a video for the snake knot when I put up there in a card, um, or up there in a card, whichever side. I'm backwards today. So. I'm gonna untie this and then we'll jump into showing you how to do it. Okay, so what we have here is about, um, maybe about 18 inches of paracord. Don't need a whole lot. The diamond knot works great for um, a lanyard, a zipper pull, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this and put it on my Swiss Army Bantam. So let's get this piece cut off. I've never used the dime scissors to cut paracord, so this is a test in and of itself. There we go. Just keep that handy. So we're done with that. We don't need it no more. So we want to put this through our ring, get it even. This is going to be a little bit difficult for me with a camera in between my face and the um, rope, but we're going to try it. So what I want to do is I want to get that in here like so. So I've got my loop. We've got two working ends. We've got this one and this one. So the right side and the left side. So we want to take this one and twist it over and make a loop. We're gonna take the left side, go under, pull tight, and then we wanna go under itself. And then back over. So, this is coming out from my finger, going around and coming back through. So we have that. Now, we wanna take our left end again Come all the way around. Now you're going to be looking at it going, you ain't got enough rope. Well, you can tighten it up just a little bit. We'll come around, go under this piece. And then come up under there. Now with this one, I want to go around. I'll take it off my finger at this point. But we want to go around. I want to come up the center so you want to go around that main line now you're done this is your snake knot so the cool thing about the snake knot in this aspect is you have complete adjustability so if you want it to be further down here then you just work your line until you get it down there but what i like to do is kind of pull a little bit the, the two ends and then pull the top of my knot Pull a little bit, pull the top of my knot. And then you can see it's still pretty loose and it's still got some, some pieces that need tightening. So you've just got to figure out, and I have to do it too, I'm not saying if you don't know what you're doing, um, you've just got to figure out what piece goes where so you can tighten it up. Now, this is gonna go on my knife, so I like that length here. And now, we just work so we know this one goes here so we want to pull that a little bit and then you just follow it and keep pulling keep pulling eventually you'll come to the piece that goes through so now we want to do the other side so we know it's this one this one this one Pull that. Nope, wrong one. There we go. All right. 
right, so there is a diamond knot. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take only about an inch tag, about an inch. This one's cutting a little harder than the last one. So you can see I started with about, like I said, it was about 18 inches. Um, and that's what we had scrap for doing what I just did. So that is a snake knot. So now I'm gonna take my lighter. There's a breeze out here, so this may not work. I don't wanna burn my ends so they don't fray. And then I just push it on there. Just get it where it's starting to melt. And you can just push it on your lighter. And now it's not gonna fray. And now I have my Phantom with a diamond knot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Paracord Diamond Knot. But you can really adjust this. You could have made, I could have made this knot way up here. Um, tightened it up and then did another diamond knot. That's the cool thing about it. All you need is two strands. And you can do them all the way down. You can put them on a zipper pull. You can put them on a wallet. Um, you can make a keychain out of it. You can just do it like I had first with nothing on here. All right, shoot, I could take it off of this. And because um, it's a keychain loop, I could take off, off that and just put it on a keychain. So that's the diamond loop or diamond knot. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, go check out the video on the Gerber Dime. I did a video, a review of it. I also done a re review of the uh, Travax uh, wallet here. Did a video on that snake knot, making that snake knot on that wallet. So go check those out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down here somewhere. And uh, yeah, you hear my chicken, my rooster. And until next time, stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.